Hey everybody, it's Taker X here. Today we are looking at the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Allosaurus. And um, so I just wanted to let you know I picked this guy up at Fred Meyer. Um, it's, it's a little more expensive at Fred Meyer, just to let you know that. Um, this guy at Target would cost $15. At Fred Meyer it cost me um, $20. So just to let you know that the prices at Fred Meyer are a little more expensive than other places. So that's just to let you guys know that. Alright, so let's take a look at the packaging. So obviously this one is a sound one, so you press on its back and it'll make a sound. Um, nice box art again. We've got blue and Owen there again. And again, the box is shaped like a cage. If you look at it from the back side, it's got bars and it's set up like a cage setup because they're being transported. Um, so we'll take a look at the back side. It shows that you press the button on the back and it makes sounds. And here's the other dinosaurs which you can get in the collection. Uh, let me focus a little bit better. So these are the other ones you can get in the collection. Um, I already reviewed the Triceratops. I haven't picked up this one yet, and I'm still debating if I want to. Um, the Bear Dogs I have not picked up yet because, I'm going to put up a little picture here, because there's another um, paint one that comes out, and I like that paint app a little better, so I'm going to wait for that one to come out. I have also saw a, a different paint one for this Allosaurus, and, um, but... Besides that, I like this one, and I do like that the toy does not have all these little speckles all over it. Because the toy, you can see, doesn't have that. That was good. Alright, so let's get this guy out, and um, we'll check him out. So, he just has little clips here you can cut, which makes it nice and easy to get him out. Alright. So he just comes out just like that. But why was that my toy? It didn't sell me the whole thing? No, just kidding. The, the tail's in here. They just built the box nicely, so actually when it's in the box you can't tell that it's missing a tail, which is cool, unless you look for it. And the tail's right in here. Um, some tails are harder to get to than others, but um, this one might be pretty easy to get to. Let me just see if I can't pull it out here. That was pretty easy. And um, this is just a little, little booklet of showing the instructions. Um, warnings, because it is a... Um, uh, you know, sound toy, so it needs, you know, to tell you that. Front side, shows the tail. And then, on the inside of this, it shows you to put the tail on and the batteries and a bunch of different other stuff. Alright, and also this is an age 3 plus toy. Alright, so first we'll plug the tail in. Alright, so we'll take that and it's pretty obvious which way it goes because of the paint here. So you just match up that paint and you just plug that right in there. Huh. This one doesn't make like a snapping sound, but it does hook right in there, so that's pretty cool. Remember the tail has a nice curve to it. Okay, that's pretty neat. Alright, so let's take a look at the Allosaur. Now originally I wasn't very um, excited about this one, but this guy looks really good actually. I really like this Spinosaur. I mean, I don't know. Allosaurus, sorry. I have a little Spinosaur in the brain right now. I mean, Alice. <laughs> Spinosaurus on the brains right now. Uh, I can't think today. Um, so let's go over paint. Um, I really like the paint on this guy. It's really nice. Um, he's got this nice little red on his crest here. I like the crest that they've included. Um, they, of course, they need that. It's an Allosaur. Um, it's got this nice, I don't know what you color this would be, but um, like a nice dark, well, light, um, colored paint on the back. Um, also, it's got this dark blue color here. I would call it like sea blue or whatever. Um, the bottom nails are painted, which is cool. Um, the nails here, um, let me just look, aren't painted, which is upsetting, but what can you do? Um, the tail, I like, what I do like, what I do like about the paint is the paint goes all the way down the tail. Like this color doesn't stop right here and the tail is just, you know, this color. Because that would have really been awkward. So I'm glad that that paint goes all the way down the tail, which is really nice. I really like that. All right, so let's go over detail. So we'll start with this head. Um, the head looks really nice. And just to point out one little thing, I'm not a big fan of open mouths. I really like it closed, and then you press the button and it opens. But it's fine. I, I actually really like, like it. I don't mind that the mouth is like this. Um, it, it's fine for me. I've actually grown to like it. Um, let's see. The detail on the head is really nice. It actually looks like it's got s s uh, slice marks here, like three claw marks, like it's been fighting another um, 
Allosaur or something like the claw, like another Allosaur cut this guy's um, face right here. So he's got a nice little character there. Because on this side, you can see that he doesn't have any scarring or anything on his face. So this Allosaur has been in a fight with another Allosaur, maybe a different dinosaur. Hmm. So that's pretty nice detail. This reminds me of um, my beat up Velociraptor from the Lost World that I have. Um, so again, very nice detail. The skin looks really nice. Again, what I've noticed from these toys is they look real. That's why, you know, I never thought that you could capture that in hard plastic, this real look. But man, the detail on this guy is amazing. Here's a front look at it. And it was kind of like, it looks, I don't know, it just kind of looks weird from the front to me. But maybe that's just me. Um, it looks really nice. And the tongue is really black. It's a very black, like a black adder tongue. Um, very snake-like poisonous tongue right there. Um, it's, it's more, it's darker than the skin. So, um, the teeth are very nicely painted. It's a little scarfed right here, and on the tongue you can't really see it, but there's a little bit of a uh, uh, paint on it. Um, you can't, yeah, you can't really see it. Um, inside of the mouth is also very detailed. It's got a nice roofing in there, which is nice. When the mouth's closed, it looks pretty nice from the belly. Um, there's the code scanner, and here's the foot print right there. And again, I love that it's not on the side, it's on the bottom of the foot. So you just have a nice dinosaur toy without any branding on it. Um, oh, the detail on this guy looks amazing. I can't praise this detail enough. And you can also see some more scarring on the body here. You got some, a cut right here on the leg. You got some more scarring on the leg right there. Um, here's the little back claw. It's on both of the feet. And it's got even more scarring on the tail. This Allosaurus has been through some fights. We'll take a look on this side. Yeah, on this side he's got some other scarring. He got some scars there. Some more cuts along the leg up here. Um, on the tail it's got a few more cuts. Whew, this Allosaurus has been in some fights. I know, right? I know I've said that a little too much. But I just love that extra detail. It adds a little more character to the dinosaur, I think. Because it just says this guy has, has been through stuff. And, um... Uh, let me know your thoughts on what um, role the Allosaur will play in the movie. Because we've only really seen it in the scene where a meteor, a part of the rock from Mount Saibo hits, and the Spinosaur kind of just tumbles and um, dies. <laughs> so, do you think that's the only um, shot we'll get of the Allosaur, or do you think he'll play a little bit more of a part in the later of the film? And I also like that the Allosaur stands. Perfect. He just, he stands. He stands. This is amazing. I love that he's able to stand. Um... Again, great detail on this guy. Um, so for articulation, the jaw opens and closes, and the head's made of a little softer plastic than the rest of the body, so it's a little squishy, which is nice. I, I like that, and and it is nice. Um, what I find it really impressive about this is that the head sculpt here is I know that's made a different part from the seam here, but it matches really nice with the rest of the dinosaur, and the paint looks really nice. I don't really see any blemishes except for like right here on the tooth. Besides that, it's very nicely detailed. Um, arms can spin, not that, uh, about that far up. They can't really do 360, but they can go out. And this one, I don't really know why the arms can do this. Um, it seems like an unnecessary articulation, but I, I don't know. Um, I actually would have liked it if it had a, a elbow joint here, so the arm can go out like this, so it could like come down and maybe do a cut or something. I don't know. But, um, yeah, this actually right here doesn't bother me too much because it's really nicely um, hidden in there. Um, legs can rotate 360. Yeah, they can rotate 360 degrees, I think, on both sides. Whoop! He didn't like me doing that, did he? Um, now, you might, might not know this about me, but I like neutral poses, but um, this pose does not bother me at all. It looks pretty good. And actually, it looks like if you spread the arms out a little bit, yeah, I could, okay, I kind of get the idea of the joints there. It looks, it does look pretty cool. I won't, not going to lie. This looks pretty awesome. If you haven't guessed already, this is a 10 out of 10. All right, some extra articulation in the legs. They can go out like so. Sorry about the ca camera shaking. Um, legs can go out that far. Um, and also has a scanner here. Okay, so now we'll go over the sound effects. And what I did find out is that there's no T-Rex sound effects, which I love. I hate when they do these sound effects, and it's just the T-Rex. So I believe there's three to four different sound effects, so let's try them out. I really like that one. It's got this, like, hissing sound, like the Dilophosaurus, like... That's a nice one. Next one. I really like that one, too. That's more like aggressiveness. So this is number three. 
that one sounds like it's stalling through the like brush or something. And I believe there's one more. That one kind of sounds like the T-Rex, but not exactly the T-Rex. Um, I like the sound. Of, I like the sound of this guy. He has kind of like a kind of sound to him. Um, yeah, again, a really nice dinosaur. And if I want to, I can just you know do this and not press the button. So that's pretty cool. And I do like that. So I just um, yeah. Um, and I, I've said this in my Triceratops one. I'm not a big fan of the sound effect dinosaurs. I like making my own sounds, but this one I don't mind at all. I really like it. And if you, oh yeah, I already said. Um, so final verdicts on this awesome Allosaur is a 10 out of 10 from Mattel. If you don't have this guy, I was iffy about getting him up, getting him, but I'll say when I was wrong, and I was wrong. This is an amazing toy. It's great. And now for um, let me just give you a length measurement here. Um, let's see. From head to tail, it's about 13 inches long. It's longer than my ruler, but I can tell that it's about it's it's 13, roughly 13 inches long. And um, here's a comparison with the Gallimimus that I also got at Fred Meyer. So this is a nice size comparison, and you can just so yeah. Look at that, he's got him. Yeah, that's a nice size. You can just boom to stand on the galley. So that's again a nice little comparison in size. Alright, so that has been the review of the Allosaur. This is a great Allosaurus, and um, can't wait for the red one to come out. So, this has been the Allosaur from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And again, let me know what are your thoughts um, on uh, what the Allosaur is going to be doing in the film. Alright, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, leave a like, subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.